All right. Um, my mama told me on a phone call that she doesn't think that I'm cut out for marriage, and I asked her why. Even on the phone, it felt like she was looking me directly in my eyes. David, I just don't think you're that kind of guy. And I disguised my agreement with a laugh. My, you wow, of course I'm cut out for marriage. Everyone is supposed to be married someday. And my mama said with the same tone she had when she told me she was getting divorced the second time. No, not everyone. See, if the world is a platform, I've had the privilege of backstage access where the real is seen and never spoken of, where couples walk the carpet in a Sunday's best, smiling for the cameras, knowing good and damn well that they need to be broken up, where fists in the air aren't used as symbols of hope, but as a split-second pause between blows and tears of happiness are actually tears of sadness. The only things happy around here are the glad trash bags holding the ashes of the albums that once held better times. They say money can't buy happiness, but it would have been nice to not have to scrape up nickels and dimes. My mama paid for gas with change while praying for change. And she's not the type to complain even though she's a type two. That's diabetes. And I would have gone insane if I didn't pick up a book and a mic too. See, the problem is, Marriage is obligation and dependence, which in turn gives another person power over my being and seeing how sweet can turn bitter, I'm not sure if a ring is what I'll be needing. All good things must come to an end. So I don't see the point of going into debt to buy those carriages just to have the same fate as the five divorces I've seen between one of my siblings and both of my parents. Because all good things must come to an end. And that message couldn't be easier to handle since the marriages I do see still together are all in shambles. A thin veil placed over their faces for Facebook. I look and laugh at the exasperated damsels. Text messaging explanations to me like it's necessary. Yeah, it looks like we in love, but only on camera, only on camera, only on camera. It might look like I care, but only on camera, only on camera, only on camera. See, I was born under the Scorpio moon, so I know how to please her. Plus, my name is David, and I've had many a Bathsheba. In other words, I've seen too much to play dumb, and I'm too woke to play around with them vows, so I avoid them like a disease. You know what, maybe, maybe my mom is right. Maybe, maybe marriage really isn't for me. Thank you.